Hey guys, welcome back to Rail Fan Aviation. I hope you're having a great day today. And today we're coming at you with the July update for London Heathrow. Uh, I'm sorry, I've skipped a couple months and I just haven't gotten a lot of views on my uh, airport updates. So I just decided to take, to take pictures of them. And uh, yeah, that's that. I have a guest with me for like the 30th time it feels like. And I think it, it's probably close to 30 times at this point. I'm introducing Aviation LAS. I'll let him say a few words. Hey guys, I'm Aviation LAS here today. I'm here with Will Finner Aviation once again, and today we're doing another London Heathrow update. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and let's get to it. Let's get started. All right, just touched down on runway 27 right. We have a British Airways A380. This guy just arrived in from Johannesburg, South Africa, and he will be heading out to Chicago O'Hare tomorrow morning. Next up, we have the Malaysia E350-900 Houston Raptor for Kuala Lumpur today. We'll be turning around back there right now. Second in line for takeoff, we have an Emirates 777-300ER in the blue expo paint. I recently just found out from Aviation LAS that Emirates is starting to um, fly the their A380s back, and um, Qatar decided to join in on that fun, and so did Qantas, and you might be able to see one of those A380s in the back, wink, wink, wink. So, um, yeah, until further notice, we're going to keep the um, Qatar 787-9 and the uh, Emirates 777-300ER in the updates. Also, I did not, I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, um, we are um, doing this update as of the time that I'm recording this. And currently, it's about 8.30 at night in Chicago. So, we're, this is... It's basically the middle of the night. It's pitch black in London right now, though from what I'm doing right now, it's the middle of the day because of all the light. But anyways, um, yes, so this update is the most accurate update we've had yet because it is as of real time. So anyways, this Emirates is about to take off to Dubai and he arrived in from there about four hours ago. Next along, we have the... Um... Gulf Air 77-9 Dreamliner in the 75th, I mean 70th anniversary livery and the retro livery. Um, I don't know where Rouse is. So he took back to from Delhi. He's gonna be heading out to. I'll just say Dubai because why not? Currently pushing back for a flight out to Seoul, Incheon. We have a Korean Air 77-9 in the 50 years and beyond paint or sticker, whatever, I don't even know what it's called, 50, beyond 50 years of excellence, I don't know, um, anyways, I said he's pushing back for Seoul and Sean, and he will be taking off in about 10 minutes. Next in line, we have the Etihad, a 77-9 Dreamliner in the Choose Italy livery, he just arrived there from Abu Dhabi in the middle, in the middle of Emirates, he's gonna return back there, hmm, about 45 minutes. Currently pulling into his gate at Terminal 5, we have a British Airways A321neo. This one just arrived in from Milan, Malpensa, and he will be heading out to Manchester, England in about two hours. Next to Lara, we have the Finner Airways A321. He just arrived there from Stockholm today. He's going to be heading out to Helsinki. Next along, we have a Virgin Atlantic A350-900 that he just arrived there from Los Angeles today. Out now we have a JetBlue E321 Neo pulling into gate 28 from arrival from New York John F. Kennedy, and he'll be returning out there in about four hours. Next in line, we have the KLM E175 and the Benson Wings, so just did a horrible job. He just arrived in front of that skimble today. He's going to return back there right now. And to the right of him, we have an Air India 787-8 with the Mahatma Gandhi tail. This guy will be heading out to Delhi today, and he arrived in from Delhi about seven hours ago. Next along, we have the British show with Airbus 319, the BAA Retro Livery. He's going to be there from Paris, Charles de Gaulle today. He's going to be heading out to Dublin, Ireland. Right here, we have a Qantas A380 finally returning back into service. It's been almost a year since we've seen him on the channel. And, uh, yeah, he's got service out to Sydney, Australia today nonstop. And he arrived in from Sydney about 10 hours ago via Singapore. Next along, we have the Thai Airways 777-300 and the World Barge Delivery. 
He just rented from Bangkok today, and he's going to return back there soon. Right here, we have a Virgin Atlantic 787-9. This one has service out to Nassau the, in the Bahamas. He's currently getting fueled up for his flight out to Nassau, as I said. And he arrived in from uh, Las Vegas about six hours ago. Next along, we have the JAL Japan Airlines Boy 77-9 Dreamliner. He just arrived in from Tokyo Narita today. He's going to be headed out to Tokyo Haneda pretty soon. Right here, we have the Air Mauritius A350-900 with service out to uh, Mauritius via Paris Charles de Gaulle. Next along, we have the Air Canada Boeing 77-9 in the new livery. He just arrived there from Calgary today. He's going to be headed out to Edmonton. All right, just pulled into gate 39. We have the Delta A330-900 Neo. Uh, he just arrived in from Salt Lake City, and he'll be heading out to... Um, Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson in about four hours. Next along, we have the United Airlines Boy 777 300ER in the old livery. He just arrived there from Chicago at O'Hare or my airport, my newest airport that is recently on my channel now. And he's going to be held to Newark Liberty. Right here, we have an Air France A220 300 or CS300. This plane is getting cargoed up for flight out to Paris Charles de Gaulle, and he arrived in from there about three hours ago. Next along, we have the Lufthansa Airbus AG21 Neo coming in from Munich. He's going to be heading out to Frankfurt, Germany. Right, right here, we have an Aer Lingus A321 Neo. This guy is about to head out to Dublin, Ireland, and he arrived in from there two hours ago. Next along, we have the Scandinavian Airbus AG20 Neo coming in from Copenhagen today. He's going to return back there. Right here, we have the Iceland Air 737 MAX 8. This guy will be heading out to Reykjavik today, and he arrived in from Reykjavik about four hours ago. Next along, we have the Qatar Airways Boy 77-9 Dreamliner. This should do for now, since we don't have the 830 yet, but this should do for now. Coming in from Doha today, he's going to return back there. Right here, we have American Airlines 777-300ER. This plane has service out to Dallas-Fort Worth today, and he arrived in from Los Angeles or Aviation LAS's airport. Next along, we have the beautiful British Airways Airbus AT51000. He just arrived there from Tel Aviv or Real Venice Aviation Airport. And he's going to be heading to Las Vegas or my airport. And we have the final plane of the update here. It's the British Airways 787 10 Dreamliner. This one has service out to Seattle, Tacoma. And he arrived in from Washington, Dallas about five hours ago. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, also subscribe to Aviation LAS's channel. It doesn't cost anything, and he has amazing content, so go do that. And I'll let him say a few words before we sign off. Thank you, Real Fan Aviation, for being this airport update once again. And yes, subscribe, slap the bell, and don't forget to don't miss out on another video again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. See you. Peace.